Today you're going to learn how to create a simple 3D carousel to show your products in Blender. So let's see. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this sneaker that I download for free in the website free3d.com. So first of all, let's go to File, Import, Import Object, and select the file. Here I have the sneaker. I'm going to make it smaller. And what I want is to have different copies of this product with different colors. So I'm going to create different copies with Shift D, for example, six. And I'm going to select different colors. I'm going to go to Material View. Perfect. Now let's create a collection. So let's select all the products and press M, New Collection, and add a name, for example, Products. And here we have our collection with the products. I'm going to hide it from the render and the viewport. And let's come back to the cube and go to Geometry Nodes. I'm going to close this panel and create a new profile. Now we are going to use a simple curve cycle. And let's go into here. And this number, the resolution, is the number of points of the cycle, but for us will be the number of products. So I want to select six because in my case, I have six products. If you have more, then select more. If you have less, then less. Now let's convert these points to instance with instance on points. And now let's drag the collection here and connect instance with instance. And now you will see that the products are here. To solve this, don't worry. First of all, I'm going to select the material view to see the colors. What you have to do is to click here, here, and pick instance. And now I have to make these products smaller. Here in a scale, I'm going to drag all the values and make it smaller. Something like this, more or less. A bit smaller. And also, if you want, you can increase the radius to make the products not touch each other. So now let's select the camera view. Let's press zero. Okay, what I want is to move the camera. So I'm going to press N and start in zero. I want to set it here. So it will be 90, 90 degrees. And now move it in this axis, something like that. And press zero. Perfect. I'm going to push it a bit in this axis and leave it like that. I'm going to hide this cursor. And now let's come back to Geometry Nodes. I'm going to load this panel. Press N to hide this. And now what I want is to rotate these products. How? Oh, with a simple transform before converting this to instance. And now if we move the Z axis in rotation, we can do this simple animation. And the products always is facing the camera. Now, if you want to change the rotation of these products, what you have to do, we need to add after converting the points to instance, rotate instance. And now here you can change the rotation of all the products. For example, I'm going to select this view. Something like that. I'm going to make this closer, something like this. And I'm going to set the camera and make it closer. Moving this axis, something like that. And actually, I'm going to make it higher and move a bit this axis. And now, if you want to animate this, you can do it with keyframes, or what you can do is to separate this axis with Combine. Now, as you can see here, if we try to move this, it's moving really fast because this is radians, it's not degrees because we're using a vector. So we need to convert this to degrees. For this, we're going to use math and select to radians because we want to control with degrees radians. So now, for example, if we select zero and we start moving this, you will notice that go slower. That means that we are using degrees. So in theory, if in zero is white and I select 360, should do a full cycle. So this is correct. So now we can add here, for example, as in time with seconds, 
and now we have a little rotation, but if you want to go faster, select frames. And if you want to control the speed of this, then add another math. And here you can multiply to go faster. I'm going to delete it because I preferred this velocity. And also, if you want to animate it normal, then don't use this. And for example, you can start in zero and create a keyframe. And then if you want to swap exactly in the other position, so for example, I want this one here, then I need to use positive degrees. And which number is? This is really easy. If we have, for example, six products, then you need to divide a full cycle, 360, divided by the number of products. For example, six. And 60 is the number to swap between every product because I'm using six products. So if I create another keyframe, now I can change here, as you can see, from here to here, we'll change from white to green. So you can do this animation all the time that you want to change from a product to another. Here you can see again the example. But for now, I'm going to write this and just use a scene time with frames. I add some notes here so you can see better what everything is doing. And if you want to change the direction of rotation, the only thing you have to do is to add after a scene time, a math node and multiply by minus one. So now it's going in this direction, as you can say. But if we multiply by minus one, now it's going in the other direction. So with this, you decide which direction do you want to use. I'm going to read like that. Now, another thing, if you want to do a little animation at the beginning that starts from the center and then go every object in its position, this is really easy. The only thing we have to do is to animate the radius. So let's go, for example, here, insert a keyframe with the radius that we like and go to the beginning and select zero and insert another keyframe. And now we have this animation. Let's check it again. And if you want, you can modify a bit this animation. Let's select here and go to graph editor, select this and center. And now, for example, we have this, so we could lift a bit this to do it like that. Start fast and decrease. Maybe too fast. But it looks much better than nothing. By the way, this animation is really useful if you have the same shape with the same product. If not, don't do it. Or if you want, you can try to do something like this to start slow, fast, slow. You can move this if you want. Try different animations. I'm going to leave this one because I like it. And if you want another tip, what you can add is depth of field with the camera. So select the camera and go to camera settings and enable depth of field. And now what we should do is to create an empty and leave it in this position where the focus will be. So let's create an empty, this one, and press N and move it in this axis. So here, more or less, will be the focus. So now let's come back to camera and in focus, select the empty and press zero to see the camera view. And now let's decrease this. For example, let's try one. No, actually, I'm going to decrease this more, not too much. But as you can see, the objects behind are more blur and the one in front is focused. So we have this effect. If you want to focus the center of the view in the object that is closer to the camera, you can do it or not. This is optional. If you don't want to blur so much, just increase this number to control the depth of field. And with this, we created a simple 3D carousel with geometry nodes. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.